Hi, this is Tim Von Rieden with cgcookie.com and in this tip tutorial I'm going to go through how I take a sketch drawing and bring it into Photoshop to be prepped for a digital painting. Okay, let's get started. Right. So here's my sketch drawing that I did. I'm just going to tear it out and put it in the scanner, making sure I leave just a little space in between the corners so that I make sure I get all the drawing inside. So using only the crop function and the scanner tool, this is the final result that I pulled up in Photoshop. And while this turned out pretty well, you can see how it's on one layer and it's a background layer. And I want to separate it so that the pencil, all the pencil marks are in its own layer and the background is its own layer as well. So first I'm going to rotate this image so it's facing the correct direction. Okay. And from here, we, I'm going to edit the settings so that the blacks become more black and the whites become more white. And this pretty much will take out some of the fuzz that sometimes pencil marks can create. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to go to my levels. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust them so that there's a very stark contrast between the two. You can see as I'm pulling these sliders back and forth, the difference it's making. Then I'm going to choose OK. You now there's a, a few different ways to pull the white and black um, and separate them from each other. The way I'm going to go through is if I go to select and color range. And what this does is I can pick any color on the um, canvas and then it'll show you in the preview where that color is um, all in your picture. So if I choose white, you can see how it's selecting all the white there. But then when I choose um, more of the black, it's not choosing as much. So the fuzziness is the adjuster that you can pretty much see in your preview what it's selecting. So when I go very far left, it's almost selecting nothing at all. But then when I go more right, you can see how it's um, selecting more of the pencil part of the image. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the white from the background and then I'm going to take it around halfway, choose OK, and then you'll see the marching and selection, and then it'll, it's grabbing all the white that's in my picture. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that, and to do that, just press delete on the keyboard, and then command D to deselect. So now the pencil layer is on its own layer without any background. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new layer and paint bucket in the white. So now the background has its own layer and my pencil sketch has its own layer. So what that means is that if I create a layer in between the two, so let's say I started um, coloring in her. So now you can see that um, the pencil layer, my color layer, and the background layer are all in its own um, unique layer. So I don't have to mess with um, trying to work my way around the edging of a sketch. It's really easy to bring in a sketched image and then have it on its own layer so that you can draw underneath it. Now if I zoom in, you can see how the pencil marks kind of leave that gritty looking white and black um, texture and that's something that you usually wouldn't want so to change that um, what I like to do is I like to grab my pencil layer and instead of it being a normal have it be a multiply so you see it got rid of all that white and now it's um, a clean black one and some people might not like even the grainy look that the pencil effect might do and for that you could just blur it out just a little bit just enough to where it looks a little bit smoother but since I kinda like the grainy effect for this one I'm gonna leave it but I will turn the layers opacity down somewhere around there so then I can use that as my guideline for um, when I'm coloring her in so even though it's set on multiply 
and the opacity is um, very low. As long as I'm on a layer under it, you'll always be able to see those initial sketches um, because I'm drawing underneath it and those lines are set to multiply so that they're going to enhance the colors that are underneath it rather than being um, taken away. So yeah, that is how I bring a um, sketch image from a sketch pad to a digital painting. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.